I wanted to be an NBA basketball player, but I realized that I probably wasn't good enough to make it into the league. Like I wasn't delusional about it. But when I finally hit me, I was like, darn, I'm like, that sucks. That would have been cool. I knew that I still wanted to do something with sports. My first like actual job was an amateur tennis coach. And there's one kid who was just really having a difficult time with it. And his parents said that he had like severe ADHD and, and that they were just trying to get him to do something somewhat organized. And so I related to that. So I tried to help him out and tried to use strategies that worked for me as a kid. And then he finally got to playing it and he started enjoying playing the game because I and I had some part in that. And that was like really amazing. That was never I mean, before that moment, working with kids was never something that I had even considered. As far as teaching moving forward, I didn't really know a whole lot. When I first got into college, I definitely wasn't ready. I got a letter from the university saying that because of your poor grades and lack of attendance, they, like, they kicked me out. It was pretty devastating. Definitely an impact that has stuck with me and will stick with me forever. And then one day I went to a Penn State game we had won. I'm singing the autumn off, alma mater. I have my arm around this random stranger that I have no idea who he is. And he was asking me questions about where I was living on campus and I had no idea and I was just trying to lie to him the best that I could. And in the middle of the alma mater, I was like, man, I wanna do this for real. The first semester just getting back into school was a harder time adjusting than I thought it was gonna be. But last semester was really stressful because I was full-time student teaching and the school was an hour away and, um, and it was a lot of work on top of that like working the hours of a full-time job as well as doing semester coursework um, so that was a lot I was really 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 nervous about how like how I was gonna start and finish the process of actually getting hired and knowing things that I needed to know uh, with teaching, there's a lot of clearances that I have to do. And one of the things to do for teaching is you have to get a tuberculosis test. And I got a skin test for clearances and it came up positive. You know, when you see somebody is positive for tuberculosis, you get a little antsy. And so I got x-rays and blood work done and they all, I, I had non-active TB. And it, it took me three months to finally fulfill all of the things that the substitute teaching company wanted me to do. So it was long, it was exhausting. I was doing absolutely nothing for three months. I had like no purpose. I didn't know what I was, if there was even a light at the end of the tunnel. I would joke about it with like other people and my parents, but it was legitimate. There were multiple times where I thought I might as well just quit trying to be a teacher and do something else. Finally getting a job is like validation that I can actually do things that I set my mind to. And now I'm more excited and looking forward to future opportunities of getting a, an actual full-time, you know, teaching job with salary and having a consistent, like, oh, getting my own classroom eventually.